Welcome back everybody to the Seattle Sonics, my NBA franchise here on NBA 2K22. Today we're going to be kicking off the 2026 NBA Finals against our expansion buddies, the St. Louis Spirits. Last episode we won Game 7 of the Western Conference Finals against the Los Angeles Lakers, 107-99. to We had a big lead at halftime and it kind of slipped away from us in the second half, but luckily we were able to hold on for the win and we are back in the finals for a second straight season against a team who we played and beat in the finals last year. This postseason has been pretty different for us in St. Louis. Unlike us, the Spirits kind of struggled in their first two rounds, but they beat Milwaukee in five of the Eastern Conference Finals, so they're a little bit more well-rested than us. They have four 20-point-per-game scores throughout the playoffs, and I think they are a significantly better team than they were a year ago when we played against them in the finals. The Spirits finished with a better record than us in the regular season, albeit by one game, but that's still an upper home court advantage. And added on with the fact that, of course, we beat them last year in the finals, I do really feel like St. Louis has a major chip on their shoulder. I also feel like we have a little chip on our shoulder as well. I think we're kind of an underdog going into this series. For now, I will be sticking with the lineup of having Chance Dumas at the four and Uzoma Chukwu Mereji off the bench. I know it may not work as well for a big team like St. Louis, but... This way, we have our five best players on the floor for as long as possible. So for now, I think that's what we're going to do. Normally, I would do two games. Today, we're going to be doing the first three games of the finals with NBA 2K23 coming out next week. I obviously want to be able to get through the finals and the long-term sim pretty quickly. So here we go. Game one is underway, and the Sonics win the opening tip. Seattle opens up with possession. There's Buzz off the screen. Hits the three. Last year's NBA Finals MVP getting off to a strong start for the Sonics. St. Louis looking for their first points of the day. Lillard over to Tyler Hero. He connects on the triple, and the Spirits tied at three. St. Louis running the floor here on the following possession. Max Gilbert, their power forward, has a broken nose. He's playing through the injury. Gets it to Deo Mbenigba for the dunk. Mbenigba certainly the most talented player on this roster, former number one overall pick a couple of years ago as Brandon Ingram sinks the three, and the Spirits lead this one 8-3 on an 8-0 run, forcing the Sonics to go a timeout as they look to rebound. Giddy draws the double, that means somebody's wide open, it's Oscar J. Basilan who hits the triple. Good start for Seattle's perimeter shooting as Oscar steals it away on the other end. The Sonics looking for another three, and it's Chance, did the the Dumas, who connects from beyond the arc. Now it's 9-11. to 11. Here comes Dumas looking to drive inside, gets it over to Oscar J. Basilin. He hits the triple. All four of Seattle's field goals have been from beyond the arc up to this point. Now 12-11. Here's Story. Drives to the right side and throws it down. A beautiful slam dunk by Kyrell Story, who I have described throughout the playoffs as the X Factor on this team. When Kyrell Story is on, this team is really good. And Story was phenomenal last year in the finals against these guys as Buzz hits another three. That's the fifth three-point shot in the quarter for the Sonics. As Lillard goes inside, he's blocked. Buzz with a hand on it. On the other end, Buzz gets it over to Josh Giddy in the corner. Bang, bang, bang. The Sonics continue their perimeter-oriented offensive day as it's 20-13. Story lobs it up for the big fella, Uzoma Chukwubereji. And the Sonics' offense looks really good. They had some lapses in the Western Conference Finals against the Lakers, so it's good to see them off to a strong start. The defense has been pretty good as well. Nice turnaround jumper by Abraham Johnston Salazar. Not really a whole lot the Sonic could have done there. Just a really good offensive play. As Chukumareji steals it on the other end. Here's Oscar J. Basilin wide open. Let's it fly. Oscar with his third triple here in the quarter. And Seattle is up by 10. 25-15. Here comes Kyrule Story with the reverse layup. No good. But the big fellas there for reinforcement. Who's on my Chukumareji with the putback. Now 31-17. Johnston Salazar to Hero to a wide open Derek Cedas Tornationton. The sixth man of the year connects from beyond the arc. He is averaging over 18.5 points per game throughout the playoffs. Giddy sends it in the corner for Kyrell Story. Another three. The Sonics are shooting lights out from deep here in the first quarter. 34 22. Final minutes here in, actually, final seconds of quarter number one. Oscar hoping to get open. Step back on Johnston Salazar. His shot is good. But it will not count. However, a very good start to the finals here for Seattle. 
as they now lead 36 to 22. Seattle's offense looking excellent up to this point as Lillard gets a great pass inside for the big fella, Deo Mbenigba, who throws it down. 36 to 26, and then the Nick but guarded by Buzz, hoping somebody gets open on the wing, or he's just gonna blow right by him. Nice play by Deo for the layup, 38 to 28. Hero over to Deo Mbenigba once again with the Euro step as he puts it in. Obviously, the big storyline in throughout these finals will be the battles between Buzz and Deo, the two former number one overall picks. And right now, Mbenigba's hot here in the second quarter. St. Louis cuts the lead all the way to four. Of course, Buzz was the Finals MVP last year, but it really felt like Dale was the best player on the floor. So I think both of those players certainly have something to prove. The Seattle's offense is looking horrible. They have a shot clock violation. I don't know what happened. The first quarter, they couldn't miss. The second quarter, they have fallen flat on their face. Damian Lillard hits a three, and now we are within one. The Spirits have outscored Seattle by 11 here within the first four minutes of the quarter. Lawson misses the dunk. It just still cannot go well. Seattle finally back on the board with a nice putback for Buzz Wigington. 40-39. to 39. Seattle leads by one. Here comes Dumas with the reverse slam. Nice dunk for Chance Dumas, and Seattle is back up by three. 42-39. Screen from Lillard. Lillard fools both of the defenders, and we are tied. What a second quarter here for the St. Louis Spirits. 42-42, and it's not going to get any better for Seattle. Who turns it over on the other end. Otto Porter Jr. throws it down. If you were to tell me after the first quarter that at some point in quarter number two, St. Louis would have the lead, I would say you're crazy. But, well, they had the lead for a short time, and now they're back on top. It's Lillard going upstairs for the two-handed dunk. 46-48, under two minutes to go here in the half. Story takes his time, waits for the screen. Drives inside and gets the dunk. Story's been pretty productive in the first half with nine points. Normally he plays his best ball in the second half, particularly in the fourth quarter. The St. Louis team knows that all too well from the finals last year. As Story gets another slam. That'll put Seattle ahead. 50-48 to 48 with under a minute left in the half. Reddish with a great pass over to Cairo Story, who's been living in the paint the past couple of minutes. Story's heating up here late in half. Number one is it's now 52 to 50. Final moments in the half. Abraham Johnston Salazar with a deep three. No good. It's been a tale of two quarters so far. The Sonics dominated in the first quarter. The Spirits dominated in the second quarter. Should be a very competitive second half. We'll see if Seattle can get some momentum back or if the Spirits can keep it rolling going into a pivotal third quarter as both of these teams look to start the finals off right with a win. Lillard gets it over to Brandon Ingram with the screen. Ingram fadeaway three for the lead. The Spirits immediately take an early lead here, entering the third quarter, 52-53. Jay Basile looks to get by the defender over to Kyrou Story. Wide open from deep. Nice shot for Story. He's got 16 points today. He has been very good the past few minutes. 55-53, and then Benegba open shot. Count it. Kevin and then Benegba. He can stretch the floor. He's not just some big dude who is a monster in the paint, which he also is as he forces the contest defensively. And on the other end, Lillard over at a Tyler Hero. He connects from beyond. And the Spirits have exactly done what I feared for Seattle. And that is carried the momentum into the third quarter and are playing really well. Javis Seelan with a nice dunk. And then the Nigma nearly could have blocked that shot. But... Oscar's going to bring it within two. A hero nearly loses it, gets it back over to Ingram, who's blocked by Buzz. Here comes the Sonics running the fast break. Buzz gets it over to Kyrule Story. Story into the lane with the put down. Kyrule Story with another great dunk, and we are tied at 61. Lillard over to the big boy, and then Benigba, he hits the three. Another triple for Deo, and it is now 64-61. Halfway through the third, here's Javis Zealan with the poster. We know Oscar's got some bunnies. He can get up there. Oscar was injured for much of the finals last year. He missed the first couple of games. In the final few games, he played with, of course, his ankle injury, scoring 41 in the decisive game seven. As Otto Porter hits the triple, 63-69. Nice. Here comes Oscar inside with another dunk. Oscar's putting on a dunk show here. And as I was alluding to earlier, when Oscar had the ankle injury last year, he couldn't really dunk. So St. Louis is now getting the full Oscar J. Basile experience. Tyler Hero gets the nice floater to fall, 65-71. Here is Hero with a nice crossover from deep. Count it. 
Tyler Hero hits the three. The Spirits up by nine. They outscored Seattle by ten in the second, and they outscored Seattle by ten in the third. The Sonics looking to respond as Chiral Story connects from the land of beyond. 68-74 now. Lawson gets it over to Story. Story with room. Heavily contested mid-ranger won't fall. Rebounded by Chuku Mereji. Puts it back. Uzoma Chuku Mereji has given Seattle some pretty good minutes off the bench. I feel like he's been better than Chance Dumas today. Maybe Uzoma will return to the starting lineup. 70-76. Oscar floats in the layup. He has a team high 21 points. The Sonics now have it within four. The big three of Story, Buzz, and Oscar are all playing really well, but the rest of the team's really got to step up. However, if nobody's going to guard Chiral Story inside, then hey, that works too. 74, 78 seconds winding down here in the third. Gilbert to the corner for Tyler Hero. Shot won't fall. And that'll wrap up the third. We've got ourselves a good one here in game one of the finals. The Spirits lead this one 74, 78. We'll see if Seattle can take control here in the fourth quarter and win game one as Kyrill Story has it slipped away on the other end. Gilbert in the corner for the big man. Amemberigba, nothing but net from deep. And St. Louis is up by seven. 74-81. Buzz sets the screen for Giddy. Giddy rolls inside his pass is tip, gets it back over to Buzz. He's now got a double-double, 10 and 12 for last year's finals MVP. 76-85, Buzz blows by Membenigba, layup, count it, and one. See that as Tornation was trying to draw the charge, but the officials did not think he had his feet set, so that will count as an and one. Story with the nasty slam, he's got 25, and the Sonics are really playing pretty well here in this fourth quarter. They bring you within one. 83-86, Story inside to the corner for the rookie Lorenzo Lawson. His three won't fall, rebounded by Buzz. Gets the put back. We are within one. Lawson's been fantastic throughout the playoffs. The moment has not been too big for him, but today he hasn't been great. Lillard misses the dunk. The spirits are getting sloppy, and now Seattle can take the lead. It's Lawson inside. His shot no good. You gotta make that rook. Lawson continuing his rough performance here in Game One of the Finals, and on the other end, see that Nation Tin makes the layup, 85-88. Story off the screen for the tie. Count it. Carl Story gets the toilet roll shot to fall. He's got 28 points playing out of his mind right now. Carl Story was unbelievably effective offensively last year in the finals. And this season, he's, well, at least in game one, he's picked it right up where he left off. 88 to 90. Story with the spin move, and we are again tied. 30 bomb here in game one for Cairo. 90 to 90, three and a half minutes to go. Dumas sets the screen for Lawson with the slam. Lorenzo Lawson puts Seattle ahead for the first time in quite a while, it feels like. 92 92, here's Josh Giddy over to Buzz, has the mismatch, and Buzz puts Seattle back ahead. 94 92, grab your popcorn now, we're in for a thrilling ending. Here's Deo Membenegba, gets by Chuku Mereji, makes the circus layup. Now we're tied at 94 as the Sonics call their second to last time out of regulation. Seattle looking to regain the lead. Buzz sets the screen for Story. Story back inside for Buzz. Great pick and roll. Buzz has been very effective offensively here in the fourth quarter with 11. And he now has 19 and 13 on the day. 96-94. St. Louis looking to tie it. And then the big bow with the layup. It is good. St. Louis is really focused on giving it to the big man, Deo Amemba here down the stretch, and it has worked. Gilbert with the steal on the other end. It's Hero in the corner for Brandon Ingram for the lead. Bang! Brandon Ingram hits the three. Seattle now down by one, 98-99. Hero is blocked. I think Buzz got a hand on it. Seattle runs the floor better than anyone. Cairo Story for the lead. He hits the fadeaway two. 199, 47 seconds to go. Hero misses the dunk. A costly play by Tyler Hero. Seattle nearly turns it over. They get it back. That was close. Seattle chewing some clock. Here's Jay Basile and inside. He misses the dunk. Buzz gets it back for the putback. Seattle awfully lucky. Buzz is at the right place at the right time. Both teams getting sloppy. Missing dunks here in the final minute of this game. 102-99, Hero with a great move. He misses the shot, rebounded by Chance Dumas, fouled by Mendenikba. He will go to the line. Dumas getting booze from the St. Louis crowd. 
as he makes his first one. The Spirit's out of timeouts. They're not going to have an opportunity to talk it over in the huddle, and instead they're going to have to heave up a quick shot as Dumas sinks the second. 104-99, under 20 to go. St. Louis needs a miraculous comeback. Hero looks to go inside over to Amen Benigba. His shot will fall. St. Louis back to square one, down by three. 13 seconds to go. Oscar is fouled by Damian Lillard, and he will now go to the line to shoot two. Oscar is the guy who the Sonics want to have the ball shooting these three throws here late in this game. Oscar, phenomenal three throw shooter as he sinks both of them. 106, 101, 12 seconds to go. Now I really feel like St. Louis might have to shoot a three. They will. Ingram pulls it from deep. That's what she said. Rebounded by Buzz. Over to Story. He doesn't want to get fouled, so he's going to take it for a rack attack. 360 slam for Kyrell Story, making a statement. At the end of game one of the finals, the Sonics take it home with a big fourth quarter comeback. 108, 101. A statement went here for Seattle. This game was not always pretty, but a win's a win. And the Sonics are now three wins away from becoming the NBA champs. Looking at the numbers, Amen Benigba led the way for St. Louis with 31. He was very effective offensively. 19 for Lillard, 15 and 9 for Heroes. He has Tornation and B.I. also in the double figures. As for us, 34 points for Kyrgyz Story on great shooting splits. As I've said, he's the X Factor. If this kid is making plays, the team is winning games. And that's exactly what happened today. 15 of 24 shooting, 4 for 5 from deep. Oscar with 23, Buzz with 21, 15 and 4. All three of our big three really play well, and that's why we won. Those three are our stars. They're our go-to guys scoring the basketball offensively. We need them to continue to produce. As we hop into game two, both teams rocking their alternate jerseys for this matchup. Lillard with the pump fake gets it over to Tyler Hero. He's blocked by Oscar. That's a nice defensive start. First possession of the game is a block leading to a shot clock violation. 2-0 lead here for the Sonics. Hero gets it over to Deo and then Benigba. That'll put the Spirits on the board. They take their first lead of the game, 4-3. Here comes Lillard inside, trying to get some room. Gets it over beyond the arc, over to Brandon Ingram for three. And just like how the Sonics started in game one, the Spirits are really trying to focus on perimeter shooting early and often. Here comes Dumas inside, layup, foul, and one. Gilbert is for one called for the foul. Great play by Dumas. What a block by Buzz. Oh, my God. He sent that one hard to the sidelines. What a play. And it's Seattle ball. St. Louis last touched it. Wow. Buzz is a menace down low defensively. 9-8. Here's Oscar over to the big man, Chukumareji. And he is denied at the rim by Mbenegba. Good old little sweet taste of revenge. Lillard on the other end. More like Damian Thrillard on that play. 11-12. Here's Jay Basile and gets it over to Buzz. Wide open for three. Nobody covering him. We'll see if St. Louis can pick it up with their perimeter defense. Can't leave him wide open like that. 20-16. There's Derek Cedes Tornationton. Answer for the three of his own as he slings the crossbow to put St. Louis ahead now, 21-20. Reddish has it tipped away, gets it back over to Buzz. Long two, got it. Busy start today for Buzz. He is 7-4 as it's 22-21 with about a minute and a half left in the quarter. Reddish with a nice crossover. Back out to Buzz. Turnaround jumper is good. Buzz is feeling himself early in this ball game as it's 24-21. Johnston Salazar. Over to Tyler Hero, gets into the corner for a wide open Otto Porter Jr. who hits the three, and this game is tied up. Otto Porter, the possible descendant of one of Will Chamberlain's probably 50,000 children. That guy had a lot of game, let me tell you. There's Tyler Hero with the dunk, 24-26, two and a half seconds left in the quarter. Hero heaves up a three, no good. Free competitive start to this game, 26-24. The Spirits lead, neither side was really in control for the most part. We'll see what happens here in the second as it's 26-28. There's Oscar J. Vasilin with a quick dunk that'll tie the game up. Now knotted up at 30. Oscar has it tipped, trying to get it to Dumas, but it's stolen away by the Spirits. Lillard for the dunk, he's denied! What a block again by Buzz Wigginton, who has been a menace defensively here for the Sonics so far in both games. Wide open three there for the Spirits. That'll put them ahead by five. Brandon Ingram, B.I. with the triple. 30-35 to 35 on the fast break. St. Louis running the floor. There is Lillard from beyond the arc. 
And now it looks like the Spirits are starting to get some control. The Sonics offense laying an egg here in the second quarter. The defense hasn't been a whole lot better. As St. Louis looking to continue to extend the lead. And then the Nick Ben misses the three. Rebound by Ingram. Back out to Lillard. No good. Ingram gets it back again. Blocked by Buzz. What great defense there by Seattle. They needed a defensive possession like that. Then on the other end, Lorenzo Lawson puts in the layup. Five-point deficit here with five minutes left in the half. Another nice dunk. This time by Otto Porter. Five-point game. St. Louis seems to be controlling this game marginally. Nice shot by Frank the Tank. Frank Kaminsky as now the Spirits lead by 10, 35-45. Here's Oscar Javis Seelan going upstairs with the slam. Kind of a quiet start for Oscar. He's only got six and four. Kyrel Stewart has gotten off to a really quiet start as he gets the dunk. Those are his first points of the game after dropping 32 in game one. What a block by Giddy on Tyler Hero here late in the first half. Six-point lead for the Spirits. On the other end, here comes Kyrel Story inside with the dunk. Nice slam by Kyrel Story, who's finally starting to get involved offensively. 41-47, time winding down. Hero beats the buzzer, and the Spirits lead this one by eight, going into halftime, 41-49. Shot almost goes in for Oscar. I don't know if it would have counted, so it doesn't really matter. St. Louis with a strong second quarter, particularly defensively. The Sonics offense has been very questionable at best today. They've only hit one three-pointer the entire game. Seattle's losing because they're not getting guys open from three, and when they are, they're not making their shots. Doesn't matter with Dumas is just going to find his way to the basket for an and one. What a slam by Chance Dumas with some authority on that one. And, of course, it is an and one as well. Ingram called for the foul. 44-49, here comes Tyler Hero. Gets an open man in the corner, it's Brandon Ingram, he hits the three. St. Louis is winning right now because they are dominating from beyond the arc. They're shooting their threes really well, the Sonics are not. St. Louis is beating Seattle at their own game. So because of that, Seattle's had to improvise a little bit. They're doing a pretty good job of going inside of the basket, such as that play from Oscar J. Vasilin. 46-54, Ingram denied. Buzz Wigington is that dude on the other end. Hero, nice shot off the, the, I guess, offensive rebound, kind of. <laughs> now it's 46-56. Oscar trying to get some room, gets the screen from Buzz. Oscar inside with that nifty pass over to Buzz Wigington, who has 15-7 and seven today. That's a team high in points. Buzz has certainly been Seattle's best player today on both ends of the floor as Dale Mendenipa hits a nice three. That'll put the Spirits ahead by 11. 48-59, here's see that Sternationton over to Lillard, who lobs it up for the big man, Deo Mbamegba. The Spirit doing a good job of increasing this lead very quickly here in the third. Seattle needs to answer it, and I guess that's an answer. Chance Dumas with another nice dunk. Dumas is hooping today. He's got 12 points on pretty good efficiency, 52-63. Lillard hoping somebody gets open off the screen. Again, it's Mbamegba. He hits the three. St. Louis with their biggest lead of the game at 14. Now they're up by 16. That's the most points either team has led by so far here in the finals. Lorenzo Lawson answers with a dunk. Seattle has been throwing it down early and often today. They've had so many dunks today because, again, they have not gotten their perimeter shooters going. Nice fadeaway three. This time it's Lillard, 58-74. Here comes Josh Giddy going inside. Giddy trying to... Get a good look at the basket, which he does. He makes the reverse layup, and it's 60 to 74. Seattle still with only one three-point shot the entire game. Here's Tyler Hero inside for Thompson, and he gets it to go down. Tristan Thompson banging down low, just like he did many times with the Kardashians. 60 to 76. Here's Kaminsky guarded by Lorenzo Lawson. That's a mismatch, and Kaminsky takes advantage. Frank the Tank. Not known as a great NBA player, but he has carved out a role in this league for over a decade now. Props to him. 62-80, to 80, biggest lead of the game. Oscar step back, three, no good. Seattle's offense has looked terrible today. They've done a good job of driving to the basket, but really outside of the paint, they have not been good. So they've got to start hitting their shots, and that's a good start. Kyrell Story hits the loin, too. Seattle has been non-existent from three today. I can't remember the last time a team only had one three or less in an NBA game. That has to be multiple years ago. Nice shot from Hero. That'll put St. Louis up now by 16 points, 66-82. Here's Story inside with the slam. Kyrell Story has hung out a lot 
down in the paint today because, well, him, like everybody else, has struggled to shoot the ball. Dumas with the steal off the inbound. Gets it over to Story. Inside for Jay Basilin. Great pass over to Dumas. Phenomenal ball movement by Seattle, and they're slowly but surely cutting into the lead as they're now down by 12. As long as they can continue to play well here in the fourth quarter, maybe they can make a comeback. That play's not going to help. Nice three by Hero. It's back to a 15-point lead. Tyler Hero goes inside for the slam. Now a 17-point game with five minutes to go. Seattle needs a huge comeback here down the stretch. And that's going to be hard to do with some of the shots St. Louis has been making today, like that one, as Lillard's layup forces the Sonics to call a timeout. St. Louis looking to make it a 20-plus point game. Can they do it here? Brandon Ingram, bang! 21-point lead for the Spirits, their biggest lead of the ball game. Dumas gets it over to Oscar, who blows by Cedas Tornation, 10 for another dunk. I'm surprised the Sonics haven't broken down the rims yet. Maybe that's why they can't hit their three-pointers today, because the rims are all messed up with all these dunks. Here's another one. It's Chiral Story with the slam. Lead sits at 17 with four minutes to go. Seattle needs to play, like, literally flawless basketball here. And that's not going to happen if Deo's just blowing by Buzz Wigington for the dunk. 76-93, three and a half to go. The Spirits looking to ice the game. Here's Damian Lillard. He gets another dunk. And the Spirits are up by 19 points with three minutes to go. Lillard guarded by Giddy. Lillard trying to make a nice move. Spins inside. No good, but tips back in with the offensive rebound and the putback. And now it's back up to a 21-point game. Following Seattle possession, here's Oscar J. Basilman with a nice crossover. Step back. Three ball is good. That's Seattle's first three-point make since there were five minutes left in the first quarter. Yeah, Seattle went damn near half an hour without hitting a three. That's all she wrote. St. Louis with an emphatic victory, 105-81. Seattle lost because they could not shoot the ball. And the crazy thing is, the Sonics had a higher field goal percentage for the game than St. Louis. Seattle shot 49% from the field. St. Louis shot 46%, yet the Spirits won by 24. That's what happens when you don't make your three-point shots. St. Louis was not, like, overly impressive, at least offensively. It's just that the Sonics offense was so dreadful. Two for 16 from three, and they shot the ball pretty well from inside the arc. We did a good job of driving inside, making plays down low, but their perimeter defense was obviously too much for us considering we made two three-pointers the entire game. And it's not like we weren't trying to shoot threes. We took 16 attempts. We would have taken more if it's not like our guys had blindfold shooting threes. So I'm going to make a slight change to the lineup. I think we would just match up better size-wise if Chukwu Mereji starts at the 5, move Buzz down to the 4, and have Dumas come off the bench. For now, Jalen Smith won't be getting any minutes, so we don't really have a backup center. So I'm not entirely sure how that's going to work out, but I think Chukwu is still going to get a lot of minutes with the second unit. So we'll have to see how that goes. That'll bring us to the third and final game of the day as the Sonics return home to Seattle. The Sonics cannot afford to lay another egg. They've got to make more than two three-pointers today if they want any chance of winning. 4-2 scores, Seattle ahead. Here's Tyler Hero, backs up from deep, no good. Nice put back by Loyola Chicago's finest. Max Gilbert still reeling from pain with the broken nose. I'm surprised he's not wearing like one of those cool face masks as it's now 6-6. Gilbert with the steal on the other end. Lillard with the pump fake spin move, fooling the defenders and throwing it down on the one-handed jam. Nice play by Dame Dalla. And then Benigba struggling to make shots down low, but he's doing a great job of grabbing rebounds. Third time's a charm, no good. He had like three shots in the basket there and didn't make it once. Then on the other end, Josh Giddy throws it down on the dunk. And now this game is tied at eight. So far, both offenses looking pretty blah up to this point as Ingram is left wide open. Bad defense by Kyrell Story. And Ingram hits the first three-pointer of the game. 13 to 8. Seattle not with a triple yet today. Kyrell Story looking to change that, and he does. Nice three for Story. The Sonics again have struggled from beyond the arc today. They've got to pick it up. The Story gets it in the corner for Oscar J. Basilin. He connects on the corner three. Seattle has hit the same amount of threes in the last like 35 seconds that they did in all of game two. Remarkable stuff. 15 14. Here's Dane getting some room over to B.I. Brandon Ingram, he connects from the land of beyond, and St. Louis is back up by four. Seems like the Spirits have slight control so far in, uh, here in game three as Buzz forces the turnover. Giddy gets the slam on the other end. 
cutting the lead in half to two. Although St. Louis has had the lead for most of this game, it has never been much of a big lead as Oscar is denied at the rim. And then Benigbo with the defense on the other end. Hero makes the layup. Bad play by Josh Giddy to let him go by him. St. Louis now up by nine. Now the Spirits are really starting to gain some control as Giddy misses. Passes it out for the rookie. Lawson deep three is good. Lorenzo Lawson connects from beyond. And it's now 25-19. Tristan Thompson inside over to Tyler Hero. He sends the triple. It is good. Nice shot for Hero as it is now a five-point game. 28-23 rounding out the first quarter. Hero, what a block by Buzz. Oh, my goodness. He sent that one in the next week. A nasty denial by Buzz. Off the following inbound. Not a lot of time left. St. Louis going to look for one more shot. Hero at the screen from Kaminsky. Pulls up from three. Bounces off the back iron. No good. Pretty competitive first quarter. St. Louis has been the better team, but they only lead by five. Seattle looking to make it closer. They did play pretty well those last couple of minutes. Here's Lawson inside in traffic. Had like three guys in the area and still makes the layup. Nice play. 30-25. Oscar J. Vasilu with the screen from Chukumareji inside with a nice dunk. Oscar with the throwdown, and Seattle is now down 32-27 as Johnston Salazar fools the big man on the pump fake, gets the dunk, and the Spirits are up by seven as Seattle calls a timeout. Here's Kyrell Story inside, shoots it over Ingram, no good, grabs his own rebound, puts it back in. Nice putback by Kyrell Story. So far, the Sonics offense hasn't looked great so far in the second quarter. Hoping to get back on the board, maybe with another triple. It's Oscar J. Basilin from three. Seattle has not shot the ball great from three today, but it's been a lot better than game two, which I guess doesn't really say much. 34-32. Here's Ingram inside. Good defense by Lawson. Won't matter. Brandon Ingram gets the layup to fall. 38-34 now. Lillard guarded by Oscar. Gets it over to Dave Membenik that looks to go inside. Soft touch of a rim. Again, he's 7'3", but he's a unicorn. He plays like a guard. Chukumareji, no good from three. Rebound by Lawson. He is denied at the rim by uh, Membenik. Gets his own rebound over to Reddish. Fools the defender on the pump fake. Showing off the jelly. Nice layup by Killer Cam Reddish. 40-36 now. Damian Lillard lobs it up for Brandon Ingram. He throws it down, 42-36 now. Here's Oscar with the screen from Buzz. Pick and roll works to perfection as Buzz throws it down for his first points of the game. Very slow offensive start for Buzz Wigginton. 42-38, Deo Membenigba gets it out to Ingram from deep. Few steps behind the three-point line and he lets it fly. 45-38. Buzz backs down to the big boy over to Jay Basilin. There's Oscar with the two-handed dunk. Nice play by the Sonics. And just like the first quarter, St. Louis has had the lead really the entire time, but Seattle is keeping it very competitive. Another nasty dunk for Oscar. He's got 16. He's been the best offensive player today for the Sonics as Buzz is wide open in the corner, and we are tied. Seattle on a nice little run the past couple of minutes, and it's now 45 apiece. St. Louis looking to get the lead back with under 20 seconds left in the half. Here's Ingram. Pulls up on the midi. Nice shot. Brandon Ingram has St. Louis back ahead, 47-45. Under seven seconds to go now. Final opportunity for Seattle to maybe even take the lead. Oscar J. Vasilin pulls up with a deep three. Rims out. Overall, a very competitive first half. St. Louis leads 47-45. I feel like the Spirits have been probably the better team today. But Seattle is hung in there. If they're only now by one score, no reason to think the Sonics can't come back here. They certainly don't want to lose a game on their home floor and go down 2-1. Opening possession here in the third. A screen for Deo and then Benigba. And he starts this one off of a triple. More than doubling the St. Louis lead up to five. 50-45. Here's Cairo Story. Goes inside with the slam. I love how he switched the hand where the ball was so the defender would get fooled. Great play for Kyrell Story. 52-47. Here's Ingram with the screen. It's Damian Lillard going inside. Heavily contested shot. Doesn't matter. Dame is different. Could we see him in our NBA 2K23 series if we choose the Blazers? Interesting thought as Josh Giddy makes the layup. That'll make it 56-49. Lillard with the spin move. Looks to go inside. Gets it out to see that's Tornation. He's fouled on the three. Number one rule of defense, don't foul the jump shooter. See, that's Turnation would make all three. And for the first time today, we have a double-digit lead. It's the Spirits on top. 
That double-digit lead would be short-lived, maybe for around five seconds as Lawson gets the dunk. And then Benegba, no good! He's blocked at the rim on his second-chance effort by Uzuma Chukwumereji. On the other end, Lawson again, this time on the layup. Lorenzo Lawson really struggled in that first game. It's good to see him playing a lot better, particularly here in Game 3. 59-53, and then Benegba heaves up a prayer, and it's good. That's part of the advantage of being 7'3", and most of your shots really are not contested, especially with how long his arms are. Lillard then hits the 3, the lead back up to 10. Seems like right when Seattle goes on a little bit of a run, St. Louis immediately answers back. There's Lillard showing off the beautiful layup package. Great play by Dame, and St. Louis is now up by 12. 67-55, Seattle's offense really struggling here in the third quarter. See that's Tarnation, Tim with the screen. He's going for the fancy layup. The Spirits cannot miss anything. Their offense as a whole is on fire. 59-69. Nice. Here's Story. Blows inside from the left and throws it down. Carl Story cocks it way back and sends it home. 71-61. Same play, same result. Carl Story with another nasty dunk. St. Louis's perimeter defense has been very good throughout this series, but their interior defense has been surprisingly questionable. Nice shot by Otto Porter, very high arcing jump shot, but he gets it to fall. 73-67, here's Oscar with the screen from Buzz. Oscar goes inside, back out to Buzz, makes the layup at the buzzer. That'll wrap up the third, 73-69, nice. Seattle has it within four. Could have been a lot worse considering the deficit was at points at 10 and 12. Now it's only at 1. Buzz with the triple. He is 10 and 8. 73 72. The Sonics are on a nice little run. Whenever that has happened today, the Spirits have usually answered right back. Brandon Ingram hits the 3. The former Pelican and Blazer, and for a very short time, LA Laker, and for a very short time, Houston Rocket. He's been all over the place. Oscar J. Basile hits the top of the key 3. He's got 23. Now 78-75, Oscar looks to get by Lillard. Over to Kyrule Story. Story with the screen from Dumas. Story inside from the left and throws it down. That's been the signature Kyrule Story play throughout this series. Set the screen of the left side and let him finish. Jeez, that sounds really bad out of context. And one for Damian Lillard and the Spirits are back up. Now 84-79. Seattle still cannot taste the lead but they're keeping it real close. Oscar Javis Zealand with another great dunk. 84-81. Here's Giddy. Tightly guarded by Hero. Five and a half to go. Giddy inside over to Buzz Wigington for the dunk. Great pass by Josh Giddy. It's 84-83. Again, whenever Seattle goes on a little run, St. Louis is generally answered right back. And they do it again. Wide open three. What time is it? It's Dame time. 87-83. Here comes Oscar inside over to Buzz, makes the layup, draws the foul, and one. Tyler Hero with the fouls, it's 89-86. Both offenses playing really well here in the fourth quarter. Screen for Buzz, tie game. Buzz hits the triple, 89-89 with four minutes to go. Looks like we could have another thrilling ending. And then Benegba hits the jump shot. It seems like St. Louis has been in control late in all three games today. The Sonics stole away game one. I'm sure they'd love to steal another one. Chukwumereji, no good. Grabs the rebound, no good. Grabs the rebound again. Third time's a charm. Chukwumereji was tr struggling to score in that possession, but you could tell he wanted it, and he got it. 91-91. Here comes Lillard. Fools the defender, makes Kyrule Story fall flat, and now it's 93-91 after the ankle break. Giddy. Inside of the corner, over to Oscar J. The seal and top of the key three for the lead. That's Seattle's first lead since it was six to four, with like six minutes left in the first. That's how long it's been since Seattle was ahead. Chukumareji with the throwdown. Now it's a three-point game with two minutes to go. The Sonics had the momentum. The Spirits have not yet answered back. 95-98. Oscar drives inside. No good. Another offensive rebound and another putback. Seattle's offensive rebounds in this game, particularly down the stretch, is why they're winning. They've done a great job down low. Maybe not on that possession. Tyler Hero was wide open. Oscar got a little bit too excited. 97-100. Here's Cedas Tornation. Looks to go inside. Over to Tyler Hero for the tie. Bang! 100-100 with 46 and two-tenths of a second to go. Huge three by Hero. 
Seattle looking to answer. Oscar to Chukwubereji. He's fouled. Wazuma Chukwubereji, not a great three throw shooter, will go to the line. He's a good mid range shooter, but he's not great for the line as he misses the first one. Not ideal. The second one from Chukwubereji will fall. So Chukes goes one for two from a charity stripe. 100 to 101. 30 seconds to go. Spirits looking for the lead. Here's Max Gilbert inside, tightly guarded, blocked by Chukwubereji. Phenomenal defense by the Sonics as Buzz is fouled by Deo Membenegba. He make both three throws. 100 to 103. And then Membenegba at the three-point line. Is he going to pull up from deep? No, he's going to look to go inside. And then Membenegba, tough layup. No good. Rebounded by Oscar. He is fouled, and it is not looking good for the Spirits. MVP chance for Oscar at the line. Just hear it all from the crowd. Oscar goes two for two. It's 100 to 105. See, so does Tornation 10 blocked by Story, and it's out on them. Sonic's ball with 3.2 seconds left. This game appears to be over. The Spirits are probably going to go for another foul. Seattle's going to try to avoid that as Oscar's going to run away from Lillard, and this game is over. The Sonics steal away game three. The St. Louis Spirits, 105-100 is your final. We should not have won this game. We led for, like, two minutes, maybe a little bit more. That's over-exaggerating. But we barely led in this game. I feel like St. Louis was the better team for most of it, but we played very well in the fourth quarter. The offense really exploded. 32 for Oscar, 20-9 and nine for Buzz. Story loss and Giddy also in the double figures. Chukum Reggie with almost a double bubble. As for the Spirits, Brandon Ingram and Damian Lillard led the way with 26 and 23 respectively. 12 and 11 for Amen on 4 of 17 shooting. That's not going to cut it. Amen Benigba has been very inconsistent throughout this series. He's had some good moments, but he hasn't been consistently effective, which is why St. Louis trails 2 to 1. The Spirits have got to finish out games better. Next episode will be games 4 and 5. Can Seattle clinch the finals or will St. Louis... Make it a series. That episode will be uploaded tomorrow. Again, I'm trying to end this series pretty quickly because NBA 2K23 comes out next Friday. I want to start my new My NBA series that day. And obviously, I want to end this series on the high note that it deserves with obviously the full finals run and eventually a long-term simulation. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you are new. Peace out.